This channel is supported by my online fishing courses at saltstrong.com slash Skinner, as well as my books, and you can learn more about the books at johnskinnerfishing.com and on Amazon. Okay, good morning. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. Fighting um, some dirty water that was released from uh, Lake Okeechobee into the Caloosahatchee. It kind of dirties this water down here in this area of southwest Florida. Um, but I'll, I'll run around a little bit and try to figure it out, and uh, I'll catch something. Always do, almost. Yeah, the other challenge for the day is this tide plot. Uh, and if you're not familiar with Gulf tides, then this is going to be quite foreign. Um, yeah, today's tide is a 15-hour incoming, starting at 5.18 a.m., ending at 8.20 p.m., for a total displacement of about two feet. So, yeah, that is obviously not a lot of current. However, um, the wind moves water, <clears throat> and it's supposed to be a, a light southerly breeze in this area today, which is the direction that pushes water into the area. And um, it's going to be well, way more than a breeze. It's going to be downright windy. It's going to push water. I'm going to catch a lot of fish. Most of the fish are going to fall to that uh, right there, that John Skinner mossy mullet from Salt Strong. Yeah, and I'm putting that stuff on. And by the way, that all that black stuff on the gunnel, huh, that's from this um, scent. I mean, even if you try not to get it on things, it gets on things. And then, you know, the just dirt in the environment gets on there um, it, it cleans right off with soap but yeah <laughs> the boat can use a cleaning and yeah that's what's causing it but oh uh, the combination is very effective that scent on this lure and i'll have links to all of the gear in the video description and if you like this video please hit the like button if you're not already a subscriber please subscribe and hit that notification bell and this is the first cast of the morning in a new spot i tried one spot earlier um it did nothing so i'm about 40 minutes into the trip Without a hit, um, yeah, that, that's going to change for sure. So this is just a little um, island with some oysters around it, like an oyster bar. And uh, see what I can do. Finally a fish. Oh, my God. <sighs> All right, let's get it started. <laughs> well, I guess it's not that bad. I mean, I'm only a couple minutes on the second spot. But man, the wind is just, it's supposed to be like three and it's 15 to 20. All right. Hey, you know what? Uh, I'm hitting these little islands for redfish, so this is a good sign. Because this isn't the good island. So. Break the ice. Thank you. All right. Uh, come on, the day's young. Okay, that's the only fish on that island. Gonna move on to the next one. And uh, I've got the raptor anchor down and I'm upwind, so it's good, no crosswind here. Oh, they're in there. Good. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Not a small, not a small. Oh, good. This is first cast. I got the power, got the raptor down. This is good, good decent redfish. Nice. Well, I only got a couple cranks in on that. I just haven't been getting good ones this winter. Doing okay on other things, but not these bigger ones. Okay, 
one cast here, one nice redfish, and a some kind of parasite thing, I guess. I don't know. Let's get out of here. Yeah, is that a remora? Uh, I don't know what that is. I don't usually see those on, on these fish. All right. Decent. And that was the only fish on that island as well. So, uh, all right, now the, I'm going to fight the wind along this shoreline. Yeah, and what's up with Noah? How can they get it so wrong? It was supposed to be low single digits for the wind speed. And uh, it, you'll see, it's blowing the whole time. And So I do have a windsock on the camera to cut down on the, the wind noise on it. Um, and it is definitely helping a ton. Um, but yeah, you, you know, you're still going to be picking up some wind on there. It's just unavoidable. So the, the challenge is just maneuvering the boat and controlling the boat correctly to, and getting those casts into the pockets. I'm going to be spot locking a lot on this trip, and I know it's not ideal for redfish. You know, you'd rather use the power anchor, but um, you know, you're running into it. You have to run into it to control the boat, and then to stop, it's just easy to push the button and stop it right there. If you put the power anchor down, I've only got one power anchor. It's going to swing the boat all the way around. I don't want that. So basically, I'm just going along slowly. I hook up, I hit the uh, spot lock, and hold it there. Um, you know what? When it's choppy like this, I find the redfish are way more tolerant of the nonsense of uh, making any noise with the trolling motor like that. You got some fish in here. These aren't bad size. Alright, I've got a nice looking pocket up there, so I'm going to hold my cast until I get a better angle. Um, but boy, it's, it's hard with the crosswind to get it right. Uh, you know, I'll do my best. one. 
Oh yeah. Yeah. Finally. Be careful. We got in there. We really got in there. Big trout. Oh, snook. Huh. Well, was a snook anyway. Well, finally a small spot out of the wind. And I've never fished here before. I just wanted to get out of the wind. But the spot looks great. You know, certainly some water running along here getting pushed in and some nice pockets. The thing is about this area, there's a zillion places that look great. So... Doesn't get any lamer than that. I've never <laughs> fished that shoreline. I think it's a snook. Yeah, a nice one at that. Oh, watch that prop. Watch that trolling motor. Oh yeah, yeah, it's a good one.
these fish. Mm. Some weight. All right. Good fish. Boy, was it a lame catch, though. I was fooling around with the spot lock or something. Let's the... see. Move here. Get it. You know, switching briefly to a quarter ounce jig head with a, a three inch uh, Z-Man minnows on here, just it will make better contact with the bottom with these conditions. <laughs> okay. I find it a little harder to use the jig head lures here because it's shallow. But it's got so much crosswind. Do what you gotta do. Yeah, just one fish there and then back to this calm spot. Uh, you can see you go around the corner, you move a little bit. It's just, there's always places to get out of the wind, but you got to go to places where there's also fish. That's redfish number nine. That's not bad. That deserves a fish. Hmm. 
Oh, okay. <clears throat> it was a good cast way in there. Okay, it's redfish number 10. Anytime I come out and catch 10 redfish, uh, I'm pretty happy about that. Yeah, that thing was fired way up in there. Thank you. Wow, the wind, man, it just... He took it! He ate it! Oh! Oh! It's a good one! Whoa! I saw him coming out, I gave it a little twitch, and he took it. Wow! Holy smokes! gonna take off. Wow. Wow, it's just for the heck of it that I decided to take a look at this cove. Oh, yeah, I knew he was gonna go take a run. Mm. Gotta be one more. Be careful, somebody. Can cut me off in there. That's a beauty. Yeah, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it, but just to the left of the X, uh, when that lure touches down, you're going to see the fish come out a little bit. And unfortunately, I look to the right quickly and come back, but at that point, I see the fish coming, but there's a second fish <laughs> behind him. If you cannot focus on the one coming at my lure, there's a second one that, that comes out of the same area. Ooh, come on. Come on. Okay, he took it! He ate it! Oh. Yeah, and then I reset my camera, I forgot to turn it back on, but I've got this angle, which I've not been using because the wind is so bad on it. Real, sh you know, low cast right under the mangroves.
saw him. I saw him. Okay, totally new spot, um, and I haven't fished this one before. Oh, there's got to be fish across this thing here. Wow, there's some, looks like some water movement, and uh, it looks like um, it's either a little deeper or it's a sandy patch in there. Oh, well, that could have been anything. A little sharp. gotta be fish here because there's fish in the area. Never fished this before, but come on. It's a nice point. Got some water movement. expecting a tap in there. There we go. Yeah. Let's work this point. Might have to make some adjustments, but why it just had to be something here. It'd be great if I could get him here because um, I don't know where I'm going at this point. Or put this way, I'm going someplace I haven't been before, if I keep going. Okay. Alright, I'm going to be fishing here. That's just an okay cast, maybe not good enough because... Oh, it was. I just, I missed him. Damn. A lot of water here. It could be back farther. That's a good cast. All right, let's see. Okay, whatever. Okay, last stop, and I'm calling this place Jurassic Park because if you just listen to the noises coming out of here, uh, it's like a dinosaur is going to come out.
Ooh. Okay. Could be my first fish at this place. I think that's probably going to be whistle fish right there. Okay, yeah, they're not tiny. Okay. Oh, really solid trip. I mean, 15 redfish, a couple good ones. Uh, a really nice snook, a couple dropped, and yeah, it's the spite or because of the wind. I mean, the wind pushed the water, but made it a little challenging. All right, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Check out my online courses at saltstrong.com skinner. And don't forget my books, and you can learn more about the books at johnskinnerfishing.com and on Amazon.